What's up everyone, and we are back on the quarry. Uh, about to jump into chapter 2 here. Uh, I'll uh, go into continue, and then I'll show you some of the paths I, uh, you know, took um, with the, uh, you know, original playthrough I took, because remember, in the first episode, uh, I didn't pick up that bracelet, or I didn't find it. So, there's still some stuff there that I didn't see that, you know, might make a difference, might not, we'll see, but should be pretty fun, so I'll get into a little bit more of this and can't wait to get into more of this, so let's get into it. Alright, cool, so we are here, so this is... Some of the paths I've chosen so far, some of the, I guess, the main differences. So, what happened was, so I originally did that. I tried to help him out like I did in the first one, or, or like I did in the playthrough I recorded. Uh, I tried to help Max out, and, you know, same thing ended up happen, happening. Um, me alive, a shot in the dark. Laura was honest with the cop about the incident on the road. He shot in the dark with the long arm, whether it's, all right, so yeah, so with the long arm of a law ever extending, whether it's, whether it holds a gun or an olive branch at the end is up to you. All right, cool. So that, that's the, yeah, we chose the same path there. Uh, the fool's errand, stupid is as stupid dies. Playing the fool, uh, both vices and virtues, but all decisions lead to consequences. And if ignorance is bliss, what does that make foolishness? So same thing, I'm remove that. And then this, uh, Abby chose to help. So that, so. One side of the cabin, the uh, point in her bag, that could be something. So something boys with you, but perhaps you can turn the tables by following a path unknown. Remember, findings that seem insignificant could well be your last hope of survival. Oh, huh. interesting. Uh, so the main event fell to start, so the counselors couldn't leave the hack to score that that's going to happen regardless. Uh, that you don't have a game. Snow no second one there, and there's no second one there. So the clues we have found so far, some of the same stuff here. We found the uh, poster uh, and the prologue. Ooh, let me do that. Uh, found the poster and the prologue, and then we found this again, and we found the newsletter. Uh, but that's about it. Hacker. History, we haven't found any of those if I missed any. Uh, but yeah, we that's all we have found, and we found the vial. Uh, Emma, prepare for the party. Uh, and then cat, camp store, Emma and Jacob. So, oh, interesting. Uh, we got a little bit more of the map there. We found both of these like we did last time. And that's about it. Uh, the main difference is the bracelet, which I did not pick up. So we're very interested to see how some of the stuff ends up turning out. Hopefully it's not as significant as it looks. So with that out of the way, let's get into chapter two of the war. Truth or dare. Here we are, stranded, in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? 
Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. You such a son. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Whoa. And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You loosened it for me. That was okay. A lot so, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, I. <laughs> uh, it's so my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. I don't have to sleep here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. I don't know what the first pop up scares me. I don't still want anything to say. Hmm. Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Jackpot. Hey. Uh. Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Of course, we're going into a dark room. Oh man, I don't like this. Let's go to that second. The lighting in this is like, it's realistic. That's for sure. There's nothing over here. Disorient himself. Harem Scarum? Oh, hey, there we go. So, the flyers are promoting traveling to a called Harem Scarum. Things I pronounce it, the date listed indicates that it took place over six years ago. There has to be a terror in here. I don't know why I'm disorienting myself. Oh, that is right there. It's a little cross. I need to probably do it anyway. Settings, display. I'll turn the brightness up a little bit. Some stuff I can't add to like look on to here. Four, four. Then we're at 60. Oh, wait. I think it was there. I might have just made it darker. I don't like the, yeah, there we go. I like the, I don't like it all on her face like that. There we go. Who buys this crap?
was the same on it. I was just sitting here. What are the free children? But my god. I get these hands, man. I get these hands. It's like the most dangerous game deal out here. My, my fellow, what are you doing, man? Oh, so we can't open it to be able to. I wonder if kicking these doors in is going to If he's outside like that, he can just walk in through that dang door. Can we open it from this side? There we go. I'm just waiting for that first jump scare. Get that first jump scare out of the way, that'd be fun. Stuff like, I know this, I know they ain't the main villain. They're gonna be something else, they're gonna be like a monster. Maybe they are the monster. Maybe like they're saying humans are the monster. History blueprints for structural repairs on the lodge chimney uh, column. Judging about the scrawl annotations, this is not something Chris Chris Hackett has the money to action right now. Oh. These like slow. That's mad. That's a door. Right in here. You always want to. Oh, I can't see my fellow standing out there, man. He's gonna get these hands though, at some point. I mean, he ain't gonna keep scaring me like that. We're gonna jump in the view. <laughs> Hello, old friends. We take it? Oh, yeah. Who is scared to kill can't pass up an good. opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Cause you're about to. Dude, something about to happen. Oh my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Let's do such a sin. Like, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. Ah! 
kids get a cold? What? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean, yeah. <sighs> well, do you think it's funny now, little boy? I, oh, because... Do you want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... Yeah. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. No, no, I'm not being forgotten. But I don't like it, like, telling me, like, the walk here. What the fuck what was... What's that X doing? Get about that X. Is that just a glitch? I could have picked like different. I ain't doing no go, no. I'm sorry. Like spiders, no. You never seen a retinophobia and never had the desire to. I was waiting for someone to get popped here. Around a little bit more here. That was of the blueprints. No, I'm doing that again. to the terror cards because we this one's gonna be for the temperance this temperance to be balanced to consume in moderation to indulge in excess temperance to take it or leave it but remember sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification so let me look at what deferred gratification is so Deferred gratification. Oh. I just want that gratification. Um uh, okay, I can't type to that. Deferred gratification. It says delayed gratification or deferred is resistance to temptation or er, to a temptation of an immediate pleasure in the hopes of obtaining a valuable and long lasting reward in the long term. So. It shows us the villain. It shows us the monster here. It shows us what it looks like. It looks like a shadow figure. So we need that. It needs to pop in her face so she can get away. It doesn't like the light. It's interesting. Assume moderation or indulge in excess temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes very comes waiting. So I guess we gotta take it then. We we'll go back up there. I wonder if we can go there and try to. gonna do one more scope around these oh, these parts here that is the that is that 
Awesome. So, the same thing over here. Nothing over here. Voice crack there. Um, what lighting right there, man? Making it look like it's supposed to what you say, get something. That's the souvenir, right? Yeah, it's a souvenir. So, yeah, I think we're good. Unless there's something here. No. Yeah, we're definitely, I think we're definitely good. Definitely good. Um. Good thing it had nothing to do. Nothing there. I think it had nothing to do with the scare thing. Because what the scare was the key to everything. Somebody lives or dies in this situation. That'd be interesting. So let's uh, go here. Let's see a jump scare, my guys. This goes. Locked. Oh, Jacob. Jacob! Come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder if he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Let's say I was like, we should be able to look. I, like, I want to find something here. Actually, yeah, that's the leave. I don't want to leave just yet. Huh? Let me. That zoom in like a tarot card. What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. Seven seven three eight. Or three nine. She, she don't want him to be okay. in lane. She in lane I'm done. <laughs> don't go. I was about to say. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Horn bags. Ooh. Horn hiking bags dashed with flecks of dry blood. Rest on the empty vial. When the empty vial makes you see things. Interesting. And then. Did a bear do this? I ain't no bear. Well, I'm just looking for the dang tarot card. I wonder if they're like those friends that were supposed to be there. I wonder if they're even looking for them or they even know they existed. Somebody comes in to the top there, that's for sure. Oh. 
So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Yeah, we had jump scare. There's nothing on this table. On the table, just be there. No, just uh. I guess it's just for in case we missed anything on that. I'll, t I'll take the. I'll take the scenic route. This one's about everything. Yeah, let's do this one. What was this? Oh, it's the, it's the thing. Did I turn over here? I probably did. Yeah. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I said thank you, so. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> hey, yeah, I these found these, like, time. torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter, fucking butter pops. That's gonna be the driving point. I'll do a flash note. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god. They're like the greatest snack. Of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look. They predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh. I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Mm, yep. Which way? I did a good job.
All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bonafide. Boner. Fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know, he's cool. It's always been cool to me. Snooping. Can't you like speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it. You guys can do it. It's not working. They're just really gonna have to wait. Yeah, that's the that's the end bit. Um, what round is? Whoa! Look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Flirt. Oh, no reason. I just thought it'd be nice for somebody to call you for a change. Good burn. Thank you. I thought it was pretty good. Hello? What? Who is it? Hello? It's weird. I... I thought I thought I heard someone. Maybe we should stop touching stuff. Fine. <sighs> and my fellow, a younger-looking camp leader, Chris Haggett, with two, with his two kids, Caleb and Kaylee. They look happy. Well, they stay happy. It's called Damage Memorial. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, I mean, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Why does this do so special? Uh... Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trapdoor in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. Alright, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Jeez. 
Jeez, man. I don't know what to do here. Uh, ooh, man. He shut it, but also you climb down as a potential. I don't think they'd kill him off before the campfire, so I'm gonna climb down. He probably dies there. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. No, that's not good. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> ring a ding a ding Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Camp history. So we're collecting all stuff here. A list of counselors' names, personal details, and their task at the camp. Two names are crossed out. Lord. Someone's gonna die in a freaking cellar, I know it. I know it. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris... Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. What if it is? Just leave Bear it alone. Just leave it alone. Are you serious? I won't open. Uh, we'll do playful. He's in like Dude, a we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it, it's it's like my mom always said: if you want to party, you gotta bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. That's like, oh, man, that's good. It, the most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed-off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Just take the. Well. We know where the gun is, if we need it. Your call, man. Oh, alright, cool. So it wouldn't have made a difference. Uh, some of these paths you be taken, like, you don't really know until you've taken them. So, I wonder how much that has an effect on it. Does it make a quick time event harder since it's not like a terror type thing? Or... Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. 
Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? No. I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but that. <laughs> They're using that wrong. Oh. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... What the... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like... Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. <sighs> so, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah. Let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Okay, these are boring. Says here, no kill. Oh, so it's just nailed by them. That's interesting. Next 
I'm gonna look at this, see if anything pops up. There's somebody moving that one on the left. Just like I'll say anything on that one. But it's probably just another one. I'm still gonna run along. I'm charging my dang phone. You know when you gonna need that. Hmm, that's definitely copyright music. I think I definitely missed a tarot card somewhere. Well, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Oh, so it just goes back in there. there's been those hair cards in this one. I just feel like I'm missing something, but that I've been through, I've been like, I've checked everything. Oh. Well, somebody does, somebody does. Can't help it at that point. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You wanna check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. Yeah, so I think we got everything. So the only thing left is. Nice. Full up. Let's do continue exploring real quick. I think I got everything. I'm just gonna do one more loop around everything, make sure I didn't forget any, I didn't miss anything. Especially in here. Last time, and then we're good. Hmm. 
so we'll go left here. I wonder how much all this stuff helps on it. So his phone's only on 20, but hang on, it'll last the whole night. Nice. Full up. So I'm going. Hey, Dunzo. Alright, cool, let's go. Thank you. So, I'm gonna lose my voice there. Uh, so we're gonna be back at Woods, Nick. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Glade, Rocky Road. Ooh. Jacob still there. Uh, bunk together. That's the cabins. That's not far. Man, uh, let's see. I don't think it matters really. Let's go this going. way. Let's shoot for the scene. Ah! <laughs> God, are you okay? I'll be okay. <laughs> Come on, I'll spot you. And I missed it. Camera? Yeah. Maybe it's for the wildlife? Yeah. Trail cam. Makes sense. Blue discovered. A trail cam hidden in the trees. A security measure, perhaps, or maybe they're tracking something. Ooh. So, trail cam. Alright, cool. So, trail cams around. The camp are controlled by Chris Hackett from his office. It's like he's looking for something. I wonder if those guys are good or not. That's my thing. I'm looking at blood all from but I thought it's like a little bit open world-ish. So, um, I heard this joke about artists. It's pretty bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Here it is. Why couldn't the world's fastest painter ever keep a girlfriend? Hmm, why not? Because he always finished in one stroke. 
It's dumb. Sorry, Jacob told me about it. Uh, isn't that about golfers? Because of the stroke thing? Yeah, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Jacob probably heard it from his campers. That makes so much sense. Those kids have filthy minds. <laughs> Just a bird. Just a bird. Oh, I'm... I'm so sorry, I've just been on a little... Just been a little edgy lately. Reassuring, don't worry. I'll do reassuring. That'll be helpful. Hey, don't worry about it. It's just the forest playing tricks on you. I used to go camping all the time with my dad, and I think you hear and see some pretty weird stuff, but... You just realize it's nature doing its thing. Did you just say thing? No, that's the forest up to its old tricks again. <laughs> I've never been camping. Pause this real quick. There's like a train it's coming. Pretty up. nice if you open. I'll pause this and then wait till the train comes. Then I'll get back to uh, gameplay here so it doesn't drown out the sound. All right, what's up? And we are back. Uh, the train finally pass through so we get to continue this hopefully I don't run into a jump scare but where are we at? we're at Shady Glade geez why are we so far from the camp? There's Shady Glade uh, one of the walkthroughs of the woods of Hackett's Quarry named due to the trees or tall trees grow there the dirt path through the floral undergrowth makes a scenery atmospheric walk through nature. Hmm, interesting. The evidence here. We have a lot of stuff. Oh wait. These flyers are promoting a traveling show called you know, Alright, cool. These are the same posters in the woods. Why does Chris Hackett have them? Was he connected to Harlem's camp in some way? Hmm. Never seen thought. Let's see if there's any other exclamation points that pop up. Yeah, here we go. We got this one. Whatever these posters are doing in Chris Hackett's possession, he must have forgotten to take one down. Himself up to it. So you have to be open minded to enjoy camping? No, I just mean there's a lot of stuff you have to overlook. Like basic comfort. You really just have to try it. I could take you some time. If you want. Um, maybe. Let's just make it through tonight first. Yeah. Don't move me like that, game. It's a jump scare waiting to happen. Dang, his neck is, what is wrong with his neck, dude? Like, his neck is gonna get snapped at some point. And his neck looks like that. I'm gonna run the danger train, uh. No, ain't no. What is this? Hi. Where's your box? A box in the woods, unlocked inside. You change your clothes, bottled water, supplies, provisions, for rangers, perhaps. Do these woods even have rangers? I think it's a ranger box. Oh. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. Naked rangers? <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> I'm gonna go down this way, see if there's any blue things that pop up. Wait, X. Interactive stuff. Oh, that's last one. So, let's see. Everything's good here. Oh. 
suppose you can move faster, like why can we run? Or we just have to walk everywhere. So let's uh, continue down this way. I would not, I would not stray far from the path here. These. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Sincere. Sincere. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just... I don't know what. You'll figure it out. Please. What do you mean, jump scare? Did you hear that? Huh? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Let's go. <laughs> oh, look! It's so tiny. I just want to see this thing. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger is past, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Yeah, do that. The playful, he won't 
Okay. Did you get all that? Huh? I thought you were going to draw me getting French by a wild pig. Ah, oh, got it all up here. <laughs> There's no escape. So, so I'll grab my keys. Guess we should head back. Chapter three. Oh, why is she by herself? <sighs> Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Oh. Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Honest, uh... Yeah, you won't be honest with this. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. No, oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. A oh, hog? Yeah, do that. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's really awkward. Wow. Oh. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter puffs. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. 
Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Stern, model. I'll do, I'll do more. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the butter pops as like an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if we're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. You need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh, we'll be good. Okay, so, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was, it was okay. Hey, that a boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> Okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you... Ooh, combat. Tutorials. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so you, so what you've seen there with the don't breathe, uh, that was, um, one of many, it just shows you, like, evidence here, I'll show you this. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. And you may just prove your innocence. Or not. See, like, stuff like that. So there's, uh, you know, all these have these little videos and all that and kind of tutorial. Let's go into the combat one see what's up about it. I'm sorry to have to say there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself <laughs> using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread. 
and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. I don't even remember that, and it's not always good to remember to do stuff, you know? Where you're aiming. Ops. That's awesome. So, so what are we doing? What is it? So, one of the better problems. Oh, we're still the water, water mom. Nick, one point. Let's go. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. Why are we wasting bullets? All right, Nick. This time for real. Shot. Let's go. We're marksmen. There we go. Lucky. Always oh, scared. We we'll get the. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Good job. Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Better luck next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but you're both very mean. Blam. We thought this was over. What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? 
Oh, uh, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, girl. All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? I'll do the truth. I don't want to do it on there. Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? The honest one. I'll do that. Well, I know what you're fishing for, but it's actually super boring. If you must know, I needed some life advice. Advice, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, M. Okay, I got this. Okay, so uh, if you go to settings, there's an option called incognito mode. And if you press that. No, life advice about school. And, and that's no fair, I've, I've already answered my question. Maybe we can help. Uh, I don't know, you've all got your own shit going on. Besides, I figured just the mention of the word school would cause Jacob to hemorrhage or something. Whoa, dude, what the hell did I do? All righty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. I'll do Caitlin, because he likes it. Caitlin, what do you say, truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, that's kind of a boring question. Got an answer. <laughs> well, the answer is, I don't know. That's the truth. Sorry. So, I guess it's uh, my sorry. turn. Nope. What? I smell bullshit. Okay, fine. You got me. I wanted to be a street performer. No way! What, well, um... <laughs> a street performer? You mean like, um... <laughs> like... No, asshole. Like a mime or, you know, one of those statue guys that move when you give them a dollar. Caitlin is a mime? Idiot. Yeah, no, I just can't imagine that. Thanks, Ryan. Well played. Now it's my turn. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well then... Um... Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good idea. idea. I choose Nick. M? Seriously? Guys. That's a little bit messed up. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? 
It was just a game. Hey, I am nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. That's a little bit that's messed up, though. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Bargeezy? What?